Hello, I'm Johnny Knoxville. Welcome to Team Talk. Now you have to do the coyote. 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 You might be wondering uh, why we didn't release much sample footage from the beta end. And the uh, answer is unfortunately, we just didn't get to do it. <laughs> so the, uh, are you saying there is loads and loads of sample footage? Yes. <laughs> oh my god. No, we have continuously been shooting small projects and just test footage uh, all over the last year basically. But we didn't find the time to edit it together, put it into context, or sometimes things just don't work out the way they are, and you have to explain everything, and then you forget it, and then you upgrade the software, and then it's already different now, and then you, it's just difficult to release the stuff anymore without the context. So what we want to do now is actually go through all the footage that we shot in the last year, explain a little bit uh, what hardware version this was shot with, what the software features at the time were, what compensations are already in place, what didn't work at the time, and where we were and what we shot and why we did it, basically. Wow. You might think Simon is, is dead inside, but he's actually really anxious to see all this. <laughs> <laughs> you decide if it's mildly amusing or not. <laughs> I'm just now very happy that I'm obviously not the only one that fails on communicating what he's working on. <laughs> very good feedback. We will take that into account in the future. <laughs> then uh, you seem to have cats at yeah, home. Yeah, I shot my cats at home. <laughs> that's that's mm. the only purpose, is, is looking good. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, it's nice that because was mildly amusing, actually. <laughs> Cats have with the fur and the hair have a lot of uh, small details that you can actually use quite well for benchmarking the resolution and the sharpness and the details the camera can capture. Next footage, the infamous uh, Lindwurmbrunnen. We actually, uh, because our office is not far from this, in Wien Mitte, Vienna Center, the Vienna Stadtpark, City Park, is just around the corner basically. Yeah. And this we shot at the time when the experimental 4K RAW mode was kind of working yeah. and needed to be tested. And what we found out by shooting this <laughs> with experimental 4K RAW mode supposedly turned on, that it didn't turn on. No, there were <laughs> lots of issues. Yes. The problem uh, was that uh, when we manually turned on the 4K ROM mode, it worked flawlessly. Right, yeah. But if you have put it in the auto scripts... Uh, in that it in starts at boot time already initiating. But it might have been user error by me or by you or by anybody. You know. But in the end we didn't shoot 4K ROM mode and only found out afterwards. But it was still very nice full HD footage in the end. Yeah. And uh, this was the first time that we shot uh, outside after Alex's uh, dynamic range uh, calculations and uh, kind of finding the optimal gamma curve, optimal offsets, that you get the dynamic range out of the sensor that it actually provides. And this was nice because it was a very sunny day, hmm. right? Uh, strong sunlight, blue yeah, sky. Wish. Alex would have already figured out the PLR stuff. That's something for one of the next team yeah, talks, no, hopefully. Yeah, that's something we're all waiting for currently. But uh, for outside footage, I think this is the best we have shot so far ever with the beta. Right. Yeah, I, I got there really early, but the camera didn't work for some reason. <laughs> so I just sat around one hour till you came in and we could troubleshoot it. But when you arrived actually at the Stadtpark, it was already working. <laughs> Magic. <laughs> okay, then um, we had an intern actually for two, three weeks. Mm -hmm. I know you're listening and watching, Frederick. It's all your fault. Uh, you kind of uh, organized that we can shoot at the props rental facility in Vienna, in an old uh, freight train station. Uh, it's a very dark building in the end. There's almost no natural light. And we walked around the, the, 
the dungeons of storing props, which we actually rented a little bit later for the April Fool's video, in the case you need a coffin. This was also not shot with experimental 4K RAW. Uh, I think at the time we weren't even ready with the dynamic range optimum settings yet. And I don't even think we had the beta uh, fixed pattern noise calibrated at the time. So even though it was rather dark and we had to gain up and use very fast lenses, it actually turned out not too terrible, I would say. Yeah, I expected much worse. Yeah. We took some screenshots in between and they looked awful. <laughs> <laughs> but now it's, it's all right. Yeah. Did I tell you that I got stopped by the police when I, came, when I transported the coffin? <laughs> Not yet. What no. did you tell them? Nothing. They just, <laughs> they just looked. I, was, I had to stop by at home to get some cables and stuff. Because you have the longest car. Yeah. No other car that we had would be long <laughs> enough for fitting a full-sized coffin in there. Yeah, how convenient. <laughs> <laughs> and they and just looked into my, in my trunk yes. through, the, through the glass. Then they looked at me. I was sitting inside the car. And they just... Knocked on the glass, I lowered it and I said, Filming, eh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, you got busted by the film police. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they knew exactly what was up. It would be a perfect way to actually dispose of a body. Yeah, I was, it was open. There was nothing inside. It, 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 so it, more okay. shit. More props. <laughs> okay, well, if you put lamps and cables in there, yeah. it's of course obvious, but if it would have been closed? It, was, it wasn't even lamps and cables, it was like the, the candle holders and ah, yeah, candles okay. and, and, and ropes. <laughs> ropes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, Maxime, uh, DOP from Brussels, was in Vienna and he was documenting the project, filming. Uh, for example, the CNC mill was mm. actually filmed by Maxime that we released recently. And he also took the beta for a spin in Vienna, also thinking that the experimental raw mode would turn on immediately once he turned on the camera. Unfortunately, it also didn't work, like that was two days earlier than with the footage that we shot in the park, I think. Or was it? I think it was around the same time. Might be, yeah. And still, what he managed to shoot looks fabulous, I would say. That was an even sunnier and even brighter day than when we were at the park, I think. Yeah. And the slightly. buildings he shot have a lot of contrast glass, and are very dark areas, then you have direct sun reflections. There are very nice graffitis at the Danube Channel. And even here you have direct sunlight and the shadows under the bridge and you can see a bit of clipping. Well, it's not that terrible as uh, what we had the calibration like before. It's the first uh, IMDB credited film shot on the XM Beta. The first entry they actually had to create shot on and then select and create a new entry for the camera and uh, it's a shakespeare short film shot inside and around a tank the beta was used for some shots the film is not out yet but we are kindly permitted to release some individual shots and that was also interesting because uh, we did shoot in experimental 4k raw uh, we did incorporate the very first, not uh, real-world approved, uh, PLR curve no. settings. That worked really, really well. It worked, we didn't know why, but it just worked very well. Alex tuned the curve and said, use these settings and just <laughs> said, tell me how they look. And it worked fine. Very sophisticated. Yeah. It worked very well. <laughs>
because we shot the um, April Fool's video. That's also some footage that uh, we didn't announce specifically as being shot on the beta. That yeah. may be why it kind of went under the radar Carpet. for many people. And that was maybe the best prepared and best calibrated Most controlled, controlled set, set and yeah. shot we did so far. Even though we believed it would be the exact opposite, we were shooting in the rain outside at night with rain dripping down everywhere, the audio recorder already uh, stopped working because it got wet, the camera went on and on and on, and the footage worked really great. There are also a few people out there who have an Action Beta developer kit by now. Mm -hmm. uh, most of them are still getting started on the technical side, but I hope we will actually have some sample footage from different kinds of the world, different people shooting different projects, different kind of aspects of the development being tested and evaluated and also showcased. But I've seen some screenshots, uh, there's uh, a I believe. Yeah, there's Gabe, who posted a still image from some national park in the United States. It was just a still image. It was a, a photo to captured with the, with the right. beta, but no moving images so far. But I'm sure it's just a matter of time until we also have that yeah. to share.